Hi everyone, my name is Selena and this is the Sleep Talk channel. Today's topic is emotions. This is a really important topic, especially when it comes to chronic insomnia, because insomnia is all about emotions. It is fear, it is frustration, it is anger, and uh, as long as you have any emotional response towards sleep, then you will uh, keep having uh, uh, troubles with your sleep. So this video is here to help you understand what emotions are, how they uh, work and uh, how you can work with them. Imagine a person who never had any sleep problems and when it comes to sleep they don't really have any emotions related to it. So they go to sleep, they don't really think about sleep, uh, they uh, are not feeling anxious or angry, so basically that they have no emotional response. And then when you take a person who has troubles sleeping, then uh, they consider sleep as something that needs to be solved, something that needs to be feared, and involuntarily they uh, feel all sorts of emotions. So once you take away that uh, emotional response, then uh, there is nothing that stops sleep from happening. But then how can we actually erase uh, emotions? Uh, kind of like stop fearing, stop thinking about sleep and uh, this is when uh, working with emotions can really help. So let's first uh, understand what emotions are and uh, how, what kind of uh, properties the emotions have so that we can understand how to work with them in a better way. So uh, generally there are five uh, basic emotions that all of us humans share. It is uh, joy, it is anger, it is uh, disgust, it is fear, and it is sadness. And then there are also uh, different types of combinations of those emotions, but these are the basic five. We usually tend to think of emotions as something uh, that is good or bad, and we try to uh, have more good emotions and uh, avoid bad ones. Uh, but by doing so, we actually create more suffering. People think that uh, happy people are those who never had bad emotions and they always feel good emotions. But in reality, emotions are just signals. They are here just to tell us something uh, they want to be heard. So whenever we try to push away any uh, emotion, when we try to avoid it, it usually persists, it wants to be heard. And whenever we don't want to experience sadness or fear of anger, uh, then usually this emotion uh, uh, grows even, even more. And uh, just to illustrate this point, let's imagine uh, a person who is getting ready for a job interview and uh, he doesn't want to show that he's anxious, so he's fearing to show any, uh, any sign of weakness and of course what happens during the interview, this person will feel extremely anxious and it will be... Uh, it will be visible to a person uh, around him just because he tries to push down that uh, absolutely natural uh, emotion such as like fear, anxiety or, or excitement. And it also works for positive emotions. If you remember playing uh, a game uh, when you stare at each other and the first one who laughs, uh, they lose, this is... Uh, uh, when usually, when you try to suppress laughter, when you suppress uh, fun or joy, it usually uh, grows and you want to laugh. And, and uh, b because you tell yourself that you cannot laugh in this moment and naturally this emotion starts growing until it kind of explodes and, and you laugh. So it is really normal to experience all sorts of emotions. We don't want to uh, suppress or get rid of uh, any of them because naturally there are signals they tell us something and there are three major qualities that you need to know and understand about emotions so first uh, as i said emotions are signals they are here to be heard and when we don't hear them they just tend to uh, become persistent and of course they are not here to get us they don't hold any uh, threat or danger uh, to us they're just signals uh, then uh, uh, you should also understand that emotions are fleeting. This is not uh, a constant state of mind. Emotions come and go and it is absolutely normal that once uh, uh, the emotion is being heard, then it usually changes and, and then you, uh, you feel calm and relaxed. So when you are feeling angry or, or anxious, then just remember that this is not forever. And the third point about emotions is that you cannot directly control them. So 
if you try to resist them, if you try to um, get rid of one emotion or try to force some other one, then you will not uh, succeed because they cannot be uh, directly controlled. So naturally, you might have a question. So if I cannot control my emotions, so what can I do about my fear? And the answer is kind of obvious one. Uh, you should stop resisting having any sort of emotions. And of course, it is uh, much easier said than uh, uh, done. But uh, here, what will uh, help you is uh, having awareness in those moments when you feel those emotions, understanding that they are just signals; they are not here to harm you, and then they will uh, that they will pass. So once you allow yourself feel whatever comes at you. So for example, you might feel uh, scared for your life, for your health, for everything, and uh, you understand that this fear is something that stops you from sleeping, and naturally you don't want to fear, but then just allow your body or allow yourself to feel it, just let it be, uh, leave it as it is, just look at it as someone who is observing it from, from, from side, not trying to engage with it, not trying to uh, make it go away, just uh, be with it, allow yourself uh, to feel whatever you feel. Or for example, it is sadness that you uh, experience and it usually happens when you are uh, alone at night and you realize that everyone else uh, already fell asleep and you're just the only one in the world and of course uh, it feels uh, uh, very frustrating, very sad and uh, it is normal. But in reality, of course, you're not alone. There are many people who experience the same what you do. And uh, in these moments when you feel sad, it is uh, really good to uh, be kind of self-supporting, uh, self-compassionate. So just being nice to yourself, not trying to uh, punish yourself for something that you cannot control anyway. And this already uh, cuts down on the pressure that is building around sleep. So once you start being gentle yourself, you will say, oh, well, that... I have this issue, so I don't really need to do anything, then the whole issue stops uh, existing. So acceptance, awareness and uh, self-compassion are really crucial uh, when working with emotions. We don't want to get rid of emotions, we just want to acknowledge them, not engage with them, not uh, trying to uh, make them go away, we just uh, welcome them as they come, uh, we experience it. By this we show that there is nothing to be scared of, there is nothing uh, that we are not fighting and with time these emotions will go away because they fulfill their uh, intention. I hope that this was uh, useful for you guys and let me know in comments uh, what you think about it and if you have any questions I will be glad to answer them and of course subscribe to this channel I will be posting a lot of useful information that uh, uh, can help you overcome insomnia. So thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Bye!